Live from KDVR Fox 31, you're watching Good Day Colorado with Steve Gelly. All right, thank you, Aaron. Well, they spend most days catering to well-cared-for canines. But the owners of Colorado's Camp Bow Wow have taken on a new project, traveling across the globe to pluck puppies from terrible conditions. Fox 31's Melissa Malay has more on the effort. <laughs> I nicknamed it Ocean's 12 because it was like this big covert operation. A rescue operation. Trying to get 11 dogs out of Greece and into the U.S. on a 16-hour flight was pretty crazy. To get these pups to Colorado. Dogs are considered objects over there or tr almost trash. It, they're very replaceable. The team had been told about the neglect, but seeing it was devastating. Oh, my God. It, it changed my life. It was heartbreaking. Hundreds of unwanted dogs roaming the streets, chained to trees with no water, no food. They don't get any human attention. They get fed maybe, you know, once a week, some stale bread and water, but that's it. Suffering from hookworm, fleas, some of them covered in sores, unable to move. There are no shelters. The team armed with freeze-dried food, leashes, crates, and bowls. We had to be very careful and very discreet about what we were doing. Comes in and begins collecting dogs, but flying them out of the country proves difficult. There are actually people in Greece that are activists that don't want foreigners taking dogs out of Greece, and so they try and stop you. But they make it through. Actually, we're going to try and set up a system uh, where we bring back five to ten dogs every month on a regular basis. Now in Colorado, after a quick trip to the vet, they're learning their American manners. Snuggles is learning how to chew his dishes. Dwight's learning how to steal the spotlight. And these two learning how to put up a fight. And also, my cell phone. Very rudely learning how to answer someone else's cell phone. The station's calling, guys. Come on, come on. Come on, talk to him. Say hi. Melissa Malay, Fox hi. 31 News. <laughs> the owner of Camp Bow Wow, Heidi Flamang, joins us now to talk more about her new rescue project. They caught us talking in the room just now, but <laughs> this is fascinating to me. First of all, explain, I mean, getting a dog out of the country, or several dogs, I mean, that has to be so hard. I mean, they don't even want you to take fruit out of the country. <laughs> no, actually, they don't. And it was a lot easier to get them into the U.S. than it was to get them out of Greece. Uh, Greeks do not want foreigners to get involved and, you know, take action and make awareness around our country at least because tourism is such a big industry over there so it was very difficult we had to be very low-key about it because there are activists over there that will stop you at the airport and try and raise a big fuss and keep you from doing it yeah that just doesn't make any sense at all because as you said these dogs aren't being cared for here you are trying to just provide them with some kind of a loving home and yet you're meeting all this resistance did you have to go through government approval process or something like that no actually there's no quarantine in the u.s. so you can bring the dogs over as long as they have their vaccinations um, but honestly you, the Greek government is it makes it very difficult you have to have passports for the dogs and they have to go through a special screening process with a veterinarian but luckily we had an activist over there Dimitri in Petras that helped us with the dogs and getting them uh, registered to come over. So he was working, I'm, I'm assuming Petras is the guy's name. Um, Dimitri is the guy's name. Dimitri Petras is where he is. Petras, okay. <laughs> Dimitri, working in Petras, was able to kind of do this before you got there, I assume. Or were you there for a long time trying to get all these dogs uh, you know, ready to travel. Well, actually, we were there for 10 days, and we had no intention of bringing any dogs back. But when we met these dogs at this shelter, if you want to call it that, um, it just broke our hearts. And we're all obviously huge dog lovers. And we really wanted to make a statement and say, you know, we're here for the long haul. We're going to do what we can to help you. So bringing some dogs back was a big way to do that. And now that we have them here, they're just amazing dogs. They're so lovable. All they want is attention. They don't even care about food. They just want love and attention. And it makes you emotional. Yeah, it does. It's hard, but it, there's, there's lots of work to do. There's some very easy, inexpensive ways we can help out. So that's the good news. The bad news is uh, Greece is just one country like this. There's many, many countries that also have these issues. So you went out there just as a, a trip, a vacation, and you ended up all of a sudden doing a much, much more than that. Not quite. We had one of our employees w went on vacation over oh. there and told us about it. So we created the mission and went and visited several rescue folks over in Greece. There's only a handful that are doing work over there to see how we could help. So it really was a behind the scenes background. I mean, we spent a lot of time at rubbish dumps because that's where they keep the dogs. Mm. Uh, it was pretty crazy. And when you look at these dogs, I mean, you get emotional. What about it? 
Um, just the fact that they have a new lease on life. These 11 that came over are going to be so spoiled and have such wonderful lives. Um, uh, the gal who does PR for Camp Out is actually adopting two of them, one of the ones that you saw on the camera. And I, I know that they will have an incredible life here in the U.S. So That's so great. And now, of course, I know the big question here is how can you adopt these dogs? Because, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't hear the phones ringing, but I'm sure they are in this room right now. You can go to the website. It's BowWowBuddies.com. And there's a big link that says Adopt Greekies. And you can definitely check out the dogs there. But keep an eye on it. We're going to be bringing a lot more dogs over. So. And right now they're being housed at your Boulder facility? At Boulder Camp Bow Wow, yes. Okay. So you can also call the Boulder Camp and find out more information as well. Okay. Now we've linked all that information onto our website, MyFoxColorado.com. Go there if you want one of these puppies. And thank you so much for your mission sure, and for doing you. that. And I mean, I think we all feel so good about what you're doing. And well, I think thanks that's for helping great. us get the word out. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> thanks for coming in, Heidi.